Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A few days ago I uploaded a video about why certain mazes are nearly impossible to solve for the guest because of how the pathfinding algorithm works in mazes. If you haven't seen that one yet you will not really understand this video so I recommend watching that one first, it's linked on the cards that currently in the top right corner of this video. Also, if you enjoy discussing topics like these, you can join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. We talk about all things Rollercoaster Tycoon there. Open RCT2 is a project that enhances the game massively by adding all kinds of great new features and fixing a lot of bugs. It is still in development and a few of the developers saw my video about the maze and less than 48 hours after the video went live, they changed the maze pathfinding algorithm to no longer prefer one of the directions. If you use RCT2 Vanilla, RCT Classic or a version of OpenRCT2 released before August the 1st 2020, the algorithm is still the same as it was before. In my last video I talked about how the guest selected a random direction, checked if it was possible to go there and if not checked the next direction in a clockwise direction. This caused the guests to have a 75% chance of going into an indent on the left with a 37.5% chance to turn back towards the entrance. The chance for going into an indent on the right was only 25% with only a 12.5% chance to turn back. This created a heavy bias for walking back towards the entrance in mazes with indents on the left and a heavy bias for walking towards the exit in mazes with indents on the right. As a result, a maze with many indents on the left took pretty much infinite time to solve. This has been changed. Now a guest checks all four directions and makes a list of all the valid ones. It then randomly picks one of those valid directions. As a result, there is no longer a difference between left and right indented mazes. Every time a guest encounters an indent, it has a 50% chance of going into it and then has a 50% chance of going either way once it gets out of the indent. This results in a 25% chance of turning back after every indent, no matter which way it is going. This definitely makes it a lot easier for guests to solve a maze with a lot of indents on the left and it makes it more difficult to solve right indented mazes. To see how long guests take to solve an indented maze now, I did a similar test as I did in the previous video, only this time I used just a single maze for every size ranging from 5 tiles to 20 tiles long and only ran the game for 1000 years. Here are the results. You can immediately see that there are many more guests that have completed the mazes. Where previously about once every 57 real life days a guest completed a 10 tile maze, this time it was about once every 7 minutes and 12 seconds. You can also see that the multipliers are a lot lower. Previously the average was 4.11 while this time it's below 1.5. To calculate the average I have chosen to not include the values for mazes under 10 tiles long. They are quite a bit higher than the rest and I feel like that's because the mazes are too small for the randomness to fully take effect. This gives us an average multiplier of 1.23 per tile of length which is about 1.052 per indent. This seems very small but on a large enough scale it still has a very big effect. If we do the same calculations for the big maze as we did last time, this time using the 10 tile long maze as the base, we find out that the average completion time now is about 8.1 times 10 to the power 2833 years. This number is pretty much nothing compared to the previous number of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power 19758, but it is still unimaginably big. 
Picking up every atom in the universe and waiting a Google years between atoms is still an unnoticeably small time compared to the new average solve time of the big maze. I saw a comment on the previous video saying that this method of using a set multiplier per indent might not be entirely accurate, but it's the best I can do. In the end it doesn't really matter if this number is 100% accurate as it will take guests a stupidly long time to complete this maze either way. These calculations are mostly just to give us some big number to visualize how impossible this maze is. Another thing that people commented is that a computer doesn't generate truly random numbers and that it might actually be impossible for guests to solve the big maze with the old algorithm depending on how the random number generator actually works. This is true, but that is much too complicated to take into account for a calculation like this. It's much easier for me and for the people watching to just pretend that it's actually truly random. Even though I did not take it into account, I should have mentioned it, so that's my bad. One of the OpenRCT2 developers told me that the random number generator of RCT2 is not very good for a small number of options, so there might still be a slight preference for a certain direction. With true randomness, guests would take about 8.1 times 10 to the power 2833 years to solve the big maze regardless of whether the indents are on the left or on the right. Let's do some tests to see if there really is no difference between left and right indented mazes anymore. Here are two mazes of 15 tiles long. The one on the right is right indented and the one on the left is left indented. In the previous video I swapped the direction of the indents instead of just swapping the entrance and exit buildings, but this time I need the mazes to be as identical as possible. After 500 in-game years the right indented maze was completed by 1349 guests and the left indented maze was completed by 1334 guests. This is close enough for me that I'd say that guests do not have a preference for one of the directions anymore. And that's everything for this video. In the end this update probably doesn't have a big effect on normal mazes, but it does make guests behave a bit more as expected as it's really weird that they behave differently in left and right indented mazes if you think about it. If you liked this video consider giving it a like and maybe even subscribe or support me on Patreon if you really want to. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.